Hi, I'm Clara. A bonus first. If you are interested in Sepnest software, which is the nice thing tool for Sepcat and Hepcat, please contact me. Both mail and WhatsApp are super fine. I will offer you a free one week trial. There are not many stock. First come, first served. But I also need an evaluation. Our topic today is the gas correction. It will be a guidance video, very practical, helping you to know more about the gas D correction in SEPCAT. So please take 10 minutes with me and watch it to the end. Please subscribe to this channel. If you are first time here, turn on all notifications and write a comment below. All right, let's go ahead. Let's say where the function is located. It's a gas D correction and machine adjusted tools, a file, SEPCAT. Actually, I introduce it in my SEPCAT tutorials. If you want to check it first, please click the video up here. Today, we'll get into details. Attention here, the content could be different because the gas data have been set in machine configure tool. So please take yours if it's different from what it's shown here. And the correction and sign here, I suggest it should be under the guidance of your supplier, especially those machines that are in warranty. Here is a matter of configuration. As of now, all factories will mostly likely equip proportional valves for oxygen, but proportional valves for nitrogen are not a universal configuration because there will be additional cost. So if you need the nitrogen proportional valves, it's better to confirm with the supplier. As an extra extension, this function is matched with a gas proportional valve and we need to set it right here only for the gas with a proportional valve. Why do we need this function? It's to be able to control the gas more precisely provided that we are equipped with a proportional valve for the gas. When the proportional valve is used to control the only air pressure of the gas, SEPCAT will make the D pores output the corresponding voltage according to the air pressure value set by the user, so that the proportional valve opens at a corresponding angle. Ideally, the voltage range of D part should correspond linearly to the gas maximum pressure. For example, if the D voltage range is 0 to 10 volt and the maximum oxygen pressure is set to 10 bar, the correspondence between the D voltage and the oxygen pressure is 1 corresponding to 1. That is, when the air blowing pressure of oxygen is set to 1 bar in SEPCAT, the D output voltage is 1. In practice, the output voltage of D part and the current air pressure in the proportional valve are not in ideally linear relationship. In order to make the only air pressure more accurate to reach the value we set, it's necessary to calibrate. With the setting here, the gas D correction, we can make both matches. The output voltage of D part and the current air pressure in the proportional valve. Click File Machine Adjusted Tools Gas D Correction. We can get into the interface. Click Enable D Correction of Oxygen. We could see the type of air pressure currently corrected, the D output part used. The D voltage range and the maximum air pressure are displayed below. Group here, we could cite the number. Currently, it's two. We can see there are two lines below. We can set it to more. The more groups, the higher the fitting accuracy. Generally, set 10 to 15 groups. 
then click DA Autofill. The system will automatically set the DA distribution value according to the number of groups. We can see the values are filled out automatically. The gas pressure over here will represent the actual gas pressure we get. We can get the gas pressure in two ways. Click DA Auto Output for Automatic Mode. It will ask us to input the interval time. The system will output the values in turn according to the set interval time. And we need to fill out the actual air pressure value corresponding to each group of DA output and save it. Another way is to get the gas pressure manually. Click Output Next. The data will come out one by one. Attention, the D output voltage increases sequentially from top to bottom and the actual air pressure entered manually should also increase sequentially and the data of all groups must be filled out complete and there can be no vacancy. I will take an example to let you understand more about the gas DA correction. Let's say I need two bars for cutting and I input the number two here in layer parameters, but it turns out there's only one bar shown in the proportional valve. That is the problem. The actual gas pressure, which is one bar shown in the proportional valve, is not the same as we input in the layer parameters. What should we do if we meet this problem? First, we need to check whether the wire connecting the proportional valve to the board is interfering. Interference may cause the proportional valve output to be abnormal. Second, if the interference options are eliminated, we need to do gas correction. For specific steps, please refer to the above. However, the actual gas pressure also has a certain relationship with the nozzle. So in practical applications, if there is a small deviation, we can ignore it. That's all we got today. Hoping today's video will still be practical for you guys. If you are looking for nasty software for SEPCAD and Tube Pro, please don't hesitate to contact me. A free web trial is available now. Check another video if you still have the time. I will see you next Sunday here at 10 p.m. See you. Bye.